Hey what's up guys it's Atrix here today i'll be talking about how to turn your android device into an working gaming pc which can directly stream your pc games onto an android device so right here you might be able to see that i am playing gta 5 on my android device and i can easily control it with the help of the tool which we'll be using for today's video the tool which i'll be talking about is known as avika and i'll be showing you guys how it works so before starting if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel and thanks to avika for sponsoring this video Let's get started. Alright guys, the tool which we'll be using for our today's video is going to be Avika Remote Desktop. It is very easy to use. It is available for Windows, Mac as well as Android and iOS. To start off, let me explain some of the amazing features of this Remote Desktop tool. It will be very simple to set up. You can use it for gaming or work purposes. Some of the features are as follows. Multi to multi monitor, virtual screen, file transfer, gamepad, privacy mode and digitizer. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys the gaming aspect of Avika Remote Desktop tools. The first step is going to be to set up Avika on your PC. For that just go ahead and tap on this button and wait for a few seconds until it is finished setting up. Once it has finished setting up you will need to log into your Avika remote desktop account. For that you can sign in or sign up if you haven't created any account. Afterwards your PC will be configured for remote desktop usage. You can enable this option to allow remote access to this device via your credentials. Towards the right side you will see recent sessions. Anyways now that we are all set we will need to set up Avika on our Android devices so we can start playing PC games on Android. So right here is my android device the first step is going to be to open play store search for the app and then open it as you will be able to see it is officially available on play store and has five star rating and it is a very brand new app that's why it has so many features unlike the other remote desktop apps which are really outdated nowadays even on play store if you scroll down you might be able to see some of its features such as remote access to your computer both pc and mac remote workstation as well as game station so once this app has been added to your android devices just go ahead and launch it and right here you'll have to tap on agree and continue and log into your avika id which you used to log in on your pc once you have been successfully logged in you might be able to see the uh, device id connection feature as well as if you go to device list you might be able to see your pc so from here we can simply tap on the connect button and directly connect to our pc let me show you guys how it works so i tapped on the connect option and as you might be able to see my pc minimized and there we go guys i am literally running my gaming pc on my android device and it is going to be a very immersive option so right here you might be able to see what's being showcased on my PC screen and you will get on screen touch controls like this. So if we tap on this option you might be able to configure the controls, quality, rotation frame rate, sound, privacy mode, gamepad support, quick actions and much more. So for frame rate you can go all the way up to 144 fps that is one of the greatest features of Avika. Afterwards you can customize the quality by default it is set to smooth but if you want better graphics quality then you can go all the way up to ultra HD. For today's video we will go with HD, lowest delays that I have ever seen and I was able to minimize it just like that. It acts very quickly if you want to stream your device from anywhere. As you can see at the top left corner, the MS which we are getting is around 3 to 12 MS which is really really super fast. It directly means that no matter what task you do, you will never face lag while streaming your device through Avika. If you head to control mode, you can change your control to cursor or touch mode. So if you prefer uh, touch controls, then you can also use precise touch controls. You can adjust the sensitivity as well as cursor size. You can also access to quick actions such as lock screen, restart, shutdown or open task manager. You can also modify on screen tools such as copy paste can be added. So let's just go ahead and select it as well. So not just for gaming, this tool can definitely be used for work purposes as well. Now let's tap on the keyboard option and then tap on virtual keyboard because it will provide you an precise windows keyboard setup which means that if you tap on the windows icon as you might be able to see even in the background the windows start menu will launch so let's start gaming on this tool right away all right guys now that i have started gta 5 let me just go ahead and head on over to the story mode option and then we'll start playing this game there is no delay whatsoever and furthermore there are a lot of options in terms of gamepad controls if i just go ahead and tap on this button afterwards scroll down to the game keyboard section and enable it you will get on screen touch controls which you can set according to the game which you are playing so there are currently only three presets in avika first one is genshin impact the second one is league of legend the third one is dungeon and fighter you can head on over to the div section and customize or add your manual controls like we used to do with input bridge in mobox simulator so for today's video we'll be going with genshin impact settings because it has all the buttons that we need for playing gta 5 so i'll tap on the apply button and now we'll simply have to wait until gta 5 starts and yeah obviously it will depend on your pc 
because we are only using Avicart as a remote desktop tool everything will depend upon your PC specifications as well as your internet connection. Now another cool feature of Avica is that you can simply do this and zoom into your screen to match your Android device aspect ratio you can also manually control the amount of zoom that is uh, occurring so if I just zoom in completely now we can play GTA 5 on Android in full screen and now that the game is running properly you might be able to see that it is super smooth like very smooth experience and let me show you guys the settings which I am using in terms of quality so you can tap on the gamepad option and then tap on settings you might be able to see that we are running at 144 fps more than ultra hd quality so 20 mbps bitrate voice sync is also enabled so let me just go ahead and close it and right here you might be able to see that our game is working without any issue be sure to note that you will need a good device if you also want to play without any lagging issues but all the controls that have been provided in avika are very sufficient for playing gta 5 and just take a look at this immersive experience of playing pc games on mobile it is completely synced to your pc so you won't feel out of touch and as we are not emulating this game on android you won't feel any kind of lag or stuttering issues that's the beauty behind gaming on your phone using and remote desktop software and avika certainly gets that seamless experience to you guys so it's definitely worth checking out this tool if you want to play your pc games on your android devices and turn your android device into a working gaming pc let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this tool now further features of avika are as follows you can connect an external gamepad like the ps5 controller i have right here to play these games without needing to use the on-screen touch controls that is even more seamless experience but we won't be doing that in our today's video because it is just too much fun for me to play my favorite game on my android device with on-screen touch controls now one great thing about avika is that you can use your pc from anywhere you just have to connect to your pc using the avika device id as well as passcode and once that has been done you can connect to your device directly from anywhere in the world that's how simple it is guys you don't need to be on the same network connection uh, as your pc which is required from other pc streaming tools whereas in avika the setup is pretty simple it is feature loaded and you can definitely work or game from anywhere and stay connected to your workstation before we end today's video let's talk about the pricing of avika remote desktop tool now it is available completely for free and you can also get seven days pro trial which is included with the free license which last for a lifetime in avika remote desktop you can also refer your friends and get seven days of pro trial for every single referral and your friend also gets seven days of pro membership so you can check it out from the link given in description box below anyways that's going to be it for today's video be sure to check out this tool from the link given in description box below and thanks again to avika for sponsoring this video though everything that i told you guys was my honest opinion so i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye